I am wicked excited to show you everything that I'm going to be taking with me on the Appalachian Trail. Just a couple things before we get started. First of all, I OCD'd the fuck out on my uh, gear list here, so you're welcome. I'm going to include it in the description below with all the website links and weight and stuff like that. Second, I am new to backpacking, so if you are also new to backpacking, you might want to do some of your own research rather than just take my word for it because some of this I cannot back up with firsthand experience. If you are experienced in backpacking, I'm sure you're going to have your opinions and you're going to want to enlighten me. I am open-minded to a point, but if you're just here to nitpick and criticize every single thing that I bought, shut your mouth. Lastly, I'm going to jump right to the good part and let you know that my base weight is 17 pounds and the approximate cost of the setup is around 3500 Some of the stuff I already owned, some of it I splurged on, some of it I saved on. Some of the stuff that I'm bringing is probably not necessary, whereas some of the stuff you might find necessary I'm not bringing. Everyone's got their own priorities and you got to draw the line somewhere, so it is what it is. All right, let's get on with it. I'm going to show you each of these items in order by category, and then at the end I'll just show you kind of how I plan to pack it all together so that it makes sense for like a normal hiking day. Okay, here we go. Firstly, most importantly, my pack. I got the Hyperlite Southwest 3400. I'm not going to get too into detail with everything or this video would be 10 hours long. All you need to know is that it is lightweight. I think it's only like two pounds and I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Next, everything in my pack is going to be organized into dry sacks. So it's going to vary the sizes and companies that make them. Again, in the description below, you can find those details. Next up, my shelter. I got the Hyperlite Echo 2 shelter system and some random tent stakes. It is basically just a tarp, so I'm not going to unfold it, and I will be using my trekking poles to assist in setting it up. For my sleeping bag, I got the L.L. Bean 850 down, 15 degree women's mummy bag, which is super random, I think, because I never see anyone that has L.L. Bean anything, but it's comfortable, and I like it, so. So for my sleeping pad, I am doing the Thermarest Pro Light regular self-inflating sleeping pad. It does actually inflate pretty quick. Um, takes up a little bit of space. Not the lightest thing, but I like it. I am bringing a sleeping liner. This is the Cocoon Silk Weight Thermalite liner or something. It's supposed to add, I think, 10 degrees of warmth and it will just be easier to clean. Footwear. These are my shoes currently. They are Merrill, slow hiking shoes. I have the Superfeet Berry insoles in them. These are waterproof and I love them. I'm gonna start out with these. There's only a couple hundred miles on them so they should last me a while longer. Once those are no longer useful. I bought these as my next pair. They're a half a size bigger. Everyone says that you're gonna grow half a size, so hopefully that's the case. They don't feel that loose if not. Um, but these are Solomon's and they've got the little drawstring thing, which I'm excited about. I think that'll be fun. Although they're not waterproof, so that may suck. For camp shoes, I bought some Tevas. These are Teva Vera's women's. They'll be good for stream crossings, and around camp at nighttime. My trekking poles are Black Diamond um, Trailback trekking poles. They're definitely not like expensive trekking poles. I never used to use them actually. I literally just bought them to set up my tent with, and now I've started using them a little bit, so I don't know if I'm gonna want a better pair at some point, but so far these seem to work just fine. For clothes that I'm going to be hiking in every day. This may seem so stupid, but I looked and looked and looked for just a plain black, not super girly cut, but a women's t-shirt that's synthetic. And it took me forever to find, and I found this Under Armour shirt, and I love it. So I bought like four of them, so I can just switch them out the whole way. 
for shorts. I know that everybody does running shorts. I hate the stupid underwear that comes in them. These are just more comfortable to me. I always wear these in the sports I do normally, so I'm gonna be wearing some kind of like compression type shorts unless I decide I need to switch. For a sports bra, um, I am not a fan of bras. I don't really need one, but apparently that's proper etiquette. So I got the um, Ex Officio crossover sports bra, so yay. For underwear, I know that's where most of the girls do the ex officios, but I didn't like them. They're just too bulky to me. So I just got some Under Armour ones. They're very lightweight and gonna be easy to wash and dry. For hiking socks, darn tough all the way. I'll have two pairs of these with me, so I'll always hopefully have a dry pair for hiking. For some warmer layers, I have this Patagonia shirt or jacket, I guess. Um, literally the only Patagonia thing I own. Kind of expensive, but I was looking forever for something um, kind of specific that I wanted and I really wanted a full zipper and something long sleeve but really lightweight so that it's kind of an in-between from my t-shirt to my puffy coat. So this is what I ended up with. Speaking of puffy coats, this is mine. It is, I've had this for a while. I hope it lasts. This is from Eastern Mountain Sports. I love it. It folds into its own pocket. So it will be my down puffy coat and also my pillow. In addition to shorts, I wanted to bring a pair of pants. These are like no brand Scorpio Soul. I don't know. They're from TJ Maxx. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to bring them because I'm going to have rain pants with me, so that might be enough, especially since I'm not leaving till April. But I think I might be bringing these pants. For rain gear, I have my rain jacket and my rain pants made by North Face. The jacket does have the armpit zips and the pants zip halfway up. They'll work great in either the rain or the wind. That's mostly when I use them. For sleeping clothes, I have a base layer. Um, this is Columbia. This is what I use for snowboarding and stuff. I love this long sleeve with the, I don't even know if this really does anything, the reflective stuff, but in my mind it does. Long sleeve shirt and pants. That's what I intend to sleep in. And then I've got a second pair of the same underwear that I already showed you. And my sleep socks are smart well, so they're a little bit warmer. When it comes to food and water accessories, because we're not including food in this video, I've got my food bag here, 20 liter food bag. And I've got some of the odor-proof bags to like put my food and trash in. So that will go in here. And then to hang the bag, so that bears don't get it, or mice, hopefully. I have my Liberty Mountain little bear bag kit with 50 feet of line. Practice doing that a few times, but I could use some more practice, I would say. Also for food, I've got a peanut butter jar. I am going stoveless. I'm not bringing a stove, so this is what I'm gonna use to cold soak some stuff. I'm gonna do a way more detailed post about that in the near future. I also have my little titanium spork. For my water situation, I've got my two Smart Water liter bottles. I'm not really into the bladder situation. And my filter system is the 32 ounce Sawyer Squeeze pouch with the filter. And so that I don't have to bring the syringe thing, I got the Tops from the smart water bottle that can double as that. Electronics. I can't show you my phone because that is how I'm filming, but I have the iPhone 10 with an OtterBox case on it. In addition to that, I have a charging cord and a double power port because I will also need to charge my um, power bank. So this is the Anchor. 10,000 power bank, so I should have about three or four extra charges with me on the trail. For a lighting source, I have a black diamond spot headlamp. 
I love this headlamp. It works amazing. The only thing is it, um, sometimes if you push the button in your pack on accident, it gets pressed, you lose battery quick. So on that note, we have extra AAA batteries. And yes, I labeled them. First aid and survival type stuff. This is like my favorite piece of gear. This is kind of my mascot in a way, but is actually a wire tie for my dreadlocks. And it is made with paracord, which is why I put it in this category. So I'm gonna show you how I use it. Okay, I know that this looks ridiculous, <laughs> but the thing is when my pack is completely full I'm like squatting <laughs> when my pack is completely full it literally goes like up above my head and if you're hiking and you're going uphill and you gotta put your head up to look where you're going my hair when it's in a regular ponytail is in the way even this is still kind of in the way but anyway that's why I need to wear it um, so ridiculous like that or I could just wear it down but it gets hot sometimes So that's what this is, and like I said, it's made with paracord, but I have to say, it would probably take me like three hours to unravel this, so um, hopefully if I need paracord for some reason, I don't need it fast. Next piece of survival gear, a knife. So this one, I actually have a question for you guys. I have my little, small Gerber pocket knife. And I have my larger K-Bar um, fixed blade neck knife. So I feel like this one is overkill and I feel like this is underkill. <laughs> so if you know about the AT and you know about knives, let me know what you think would be the best one to bring. Next up, I have my little compass, it's a little pin on one so I just pin it right to my strap. I know that some people say it's not really necessary on the AT but I don't want to get lost when I go to the bathroom. This is my little first aid kit which I love because it's super light and perfect sized inside of it. I've got ibuprofen, ibuprofen PM, a multivitamin. I'm a little worried that I'm going to be nutrient deficient on the trail. And then my random first aid kit. So I've got duct tape, whistle, lighter, antiseptic like towelettes and bite and sting pads and triple antibiotic ointment and band-aids and toe warmers. <laughs> I think this stuff is necessary. Toiletries. For bathroom related business, we've got a bandana, which will be tied to the outside of my pack and it's pee rag. For non number one related business, I am bringing some toilet paper and I am not bringing a trowel. I know that most people do. I'm pretty confident that I can manage digging a hole without one, but I always have one that I can have sent to me if I decide. That's a pain in the butt. Hand sanitizer for these situations. Okay, boys, I know you don't want to hear about this, but too bad. This is a menstrual cup. So for the ladies that don't know what that is, it is a reusable cup that would replace a tampon situation. And the benefit to this is not having to pack out your used tampons. To be honest, it was kind of difficult to get used to, but once I got used to using this, I kind of love it. Toothbrush, a little tiny one, toothpaste and floss. I don't think we need to discuss this too much. A lot of people do the wet wipe thing. I went back and forth about this. I decided to go with a reusable towel and soap. I may change my mind about that, but 
This is Dolly Lock Soap, which you've probably never heard of. It is a dreadlock shampoo, <laughs> but the ingredients are like almost identical to Dr. Bronner's. And this is easily accessible for me because I have a dreadlock studio. So I will be bringing this in tea tree because I think ticks do not like tea tree. Speaking of ticks, I got bug spray. I got the ridiculously strong 100 deet, but it's little. So I'm hoping this lasts me a little while. For sunblock, I got 30 SPF. It's like a stick. So I think that'll be a little more compact and easy to use. Nail clippers. A disposable razor. I know, I know, it's a luxury item. I also have a plastic comb, believe it or not, <laughs> and a very tiny crochet hook. So, obviously I do not brush my hair, but I'm hoping that I can find some potential dreadlock clients while I'm on the trail. So these are the only two tools I need to create and maintain dreadlocks. And for the last few items, just random stuff, I have a notebook and a little pen. Also, luxury items for me, but I have crazy thoughts bouncing around my head and I need somewhere to put them. I also got this tiny little lightweight wallet, so this is where I'll keep my important stuff. And then a guidebook. So this is the Through Hikers Companion from 2016 when I first started kind of researching. I have already pre-ordered the AWOL's AT guide for 2018 and I believe it should have been shipped out this week so I should be getting that soon. So that will replace this in my pack when it comes. All right, so that was everything that's gonna be going into my pack. Now to see if it all fits. All right guys, so that is it for my gear video. And my next post is going to be about going stoveless and cold food options and resupplying along the trail. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you then.